hole in your face! <laughs> We've got our four bar structure, that's going to be our major arm gripper. <clears throat> right now Robbie's working on framing up the box. We've got Modulox tubes running here so we can have a little bit of adjustability in the front. So if we want to be able to tilt the box back, um, we can just adjust these blocks down and we get a kind of cool or unique range of motion for the front panel. Uh, we've got this big mounting plate which we're thinking about mounting the finger of doom or whatever we're calling this mechanism. It's a universal box picker upper. This cut pattern actually is, uh, is mimicking the shape of the side and the front of the box. So it should be able to scoop up the front and the side. We'll see how well it works. We think it's a little bit more of a simple uh, gripper than the active style that we're also hoping to pursue tomorrow. The new dart actuators um, the linear actuator, so they'll sit inside here and then articulate out and back in. And yeah, we're really excited about it. Um, I can't do this without that. <coughs> I had chips in my throat. It was really hard to hold it. So we've now mounted our linear actuators. We've got our clevis mounts and our top clevis mounts with a series of holes so we can adjust the range of motion. We've got a cool new uh, controller set up and here to talk about that's Mike Copioli. Hi. So we took a Talon SRX, which is new this year, connected it to two limit switches to limit the travel of the actuator. And all the closed looping on the limit switches is done inherently inside of the Talon SRX. So there's no additional coding needed. Uh, you just wire it up, it defaults to the normally open position, um, and it handles it for you. Basically right now if you look at the LED pattern, it's strobing from left to right. The last one that illum illuminates indicates the direction, so it's pointing to the positive lead, meaning in the forward direction it's limited. If it were to limit in the reverse direction, it would, the flow would travel that way. So this would light up, then this would light up, indicating that it limited in the reverse direction. We've got to get our other mount, our actuator mounted and wired up. We've got to get our gripper on the front, start playing with that. And we need to get our tote alignment mechanism, the, the wheeled, power wheeled mechanism, onto the front somehow so that we can corral these totes into our gripper, lift them up, and prepare our stacks. So, we'll see how, uh, if we make it. Mm -hmm. 